All right, that was fun. <laughs> yep, so um, I think I may have one, had one or two processes going that I maybe shouldn't have while trying to play this game, so that was my bad. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That was in pardons. But we're gonna try again, and now my audio isn't working, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. There it is. Um, resume. I assume everything will go smoothly this time around. Safe to assume, I think. Yeah, the torch bracket is always by the stairs. That's just a fact. Everybody knows that. But it didn't really take that when I was doing it before. And he said there was a sequence, too. Hmm. Torch bracket. Here is a shield. Here is a shield. Here is. I don't. The objects in this chamber. Take a close. In yeah, I didn't this... see any pattern other than the torch was by the stairs. So. I don't really get it. A shield. <sighs> Alright, let's look closer at the other rooms here. So the pillar by a bridge would have nothing. No, that doesn't make sense. Um, okay, statue, shield, I'm sorry, armor, shield, statue. Uh. The arms sense the magic of the crystal in your pocket. Better oh, not bullshit. get too close to them. Okay. Hmm. That means I can only see two sets of the pattern, though. I can't go in the front way. No seek. The statues are mainly women, so maybe she's a statue. Here is a statue. Oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't count until I name all five things. Um, that would make some sense, I guess. Here is a torch bracket. Here is nothing. The armor. No. Let's try Here this. is a suit of armor. In this place is a shield. Hmm. No. Maybe the darkness is a little lighter now, but I don't think that was it. Hmm. I don't think I can get rid of the crystal. No. Okay. Um.
It's floating in my Is that a floating crystal in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Uh, yeah, yeah. The arms sent better not get. Uh, hmm, can't even kind of feel them. The arms better not get. That's definitely the torch. Armor, shield, statue, nothing. And this one, torch. Well, since this has the same layout, maybe it's the same. So we'll try that. Torch, armor, shield, statue, nothing. Here is a torch bracket. Here is a suit of armor. Here is a shield. Here is a statue. In this place is nothing. No effect. Well, it doesn't have exactly the same layout. I don't think they're going in reverse order. It's not like in the other room, the torch is right by the shield. Whatever is opposite the torch is always nothing. So it's these three I'm focused on. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand what the pattern would be. Uh. The arms sense the mad better not get to. I don't think I can drop off the crystal anywhere. I mean, I obviously can, but she refuses to do it. show you all I will honestly I'm just gonna try combinations just of these three because I already know the rest but I don't know if that's the right order I should select them in here um, yep. a torch bracket here is Statue. Here is a shield. Here is a suit of armor. In this place is nothing. Hmm. Lying too far away. They're lying too far Only away. just They're out of my reach. I need They're to get it closer far and farther down too somehow. Far away. They're lying too far away. They're lying too far away. They're lying too At least they're lying too far away still. Something solid to hang on to. Yeah. <sighs> Here is I don't the object take a clue. Here is a torch bracket. Here 
a suit of armor. Here is... A statue in this place is a shield. Okay. Perfect. Don't know why I'm out here. I can already go through the front door. Um, no. When you extinguish the crystal, the exit. When you ex the exit. understand my good friends uh. the arm better not the tower Still out of my reach. Um, there must. <laughs> indeed. Can I go out there now? It's too deep. The tower is down again. Yeah, there's nothing down here for me. Oh, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I think. I guess not. I can't get in there. There's no front door. I better not. They're lying to. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over there. Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to use the actual crystal on them, and that'll entice them to lower that other crystal. Maybe. When you make the exit... You dummy. Set better not get. Uh. The arms better not. Thinking maybe I can throw it. Try this. It seems to react to the splinter, but not enough to make it release its prize.
It seems to, but not a... They're not easily diverted from their prey. Hmm. I think that's closer to me now, though. So that'd work out just fine. The tower is up again. Uh, why do I keep doing this? Still has the main crystal though, but that's much better. The tower is down. Better not. Uh, hmm. <laughs> no, I can't get up. The tower. Seems she. If you extinguish the crystals in the tower, perhaps you'll find. Uh, again, I need to get back to the original tower to turn that one off. This also needs to be off. No, that one doesn't need to be off. That one can stay on. There's no tentacles on it. Um. The tower is down. Yeah. <gasps> the arms better not get to. Better not. I don't think I can. No, I, better not. I can read. No, I can't. No. First, I need. Better not.
the tower. Now it looks... That'll work. That'll I can't work. get a scene if you ex- Perhaps you- Shut up. Yeah, that was a pretty hard puzzle, actually. It's one of those things you wouldn't guess at, because she keeps saying the activate-deactivate ability only works on artifacts. Crystal the shard is isn't an artifact, it's just a mineral that is magic. It's whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna fight too hard. I should be able to walk over this now. Good. Oh, look at that. On this side. Oh, I still can't get out of here, though. That's no good. I don't think waking with the arms would come... Thought so. Can't even use that one now. The tower. Oops. Um. Wait. Wait a damn minute. Is that all I have to do? Did I overthink this again? Okay, I guess I'll just go that way then. Great. The tower is down again. Okay. Ah, uh, beans. Yeah, I can't get out of here now. When you ex the exit, is if you want to. That means I have to... Oh, I think I was supposed to use those. Shit. Okay. Um... The tower. Better idea. The tower is... Oh yeah, maybe you have to wave it at him, but I was thinking I would turn this one on, maybe. No, that didn't work. Then I'll try waving. They only... There we go. You're, I think you're right. Yep. That won't need... Although this and the, that thing are exactly the same thing, so I'm not really sure why this one would work and the other wouldn't, but whatever. Catch. Oh, perfect. Okay. That was that. I needed them both of them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We were both right. I 
guess I do have to deactivate this crystal though. The tower is down again. That's it, right? They should all be deactivated. I better not. His protective shield is now small enough. Cut him loose, princess. With pleasure. For that, you'd have to get... As long as the prince is connected with just one crystal, I can only influence things in my... These are bear his greatest strength. That puts an end to your little spectacle. Nice. Ow! <laughs> Ouchie. I suppose after all these years, you've finally done it. You have defeated me. Do you really think I spent the last 15 years thinking about nothing other than how to defeat you? You're even more vain than I thought. I thought you wanted to outdo me. I'm not here because of you. I'm here so yeah, my I may kick him into the abyss. Go down in I history. may try and do that. Maybe <laughs> uppercut him into what uh, great oblivion. deeds. We'll Don't see. even start. As you wish. If words cannot injure you, take this. Hey. Oh. Dick. Ah. <laughs> I thought I would let you win. But if that doesn't matter to you, then I might as well just destroy you. Uh -huh. Struggle as much, or rather. Give up your sp struggle as much, or rather, you can. Hmm. This is quite bad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Drop right on him, right on his friggin' head. <laughs> okay. You have won. You have defeated me. You've destroyed the greatest temple the world has ever seen. Death Ooh. will now rain down on the troops. A little close. No but... one will survive to tell of your terrible deed. Soon, none of what you've done will count for anything. You must be proud of yourself, for yeah. you have won. You've defeated me. You're great. Only no one will remember. Man, it's a shame this game is so buggy, because I actually really like the story and everything. Um, could do without the pile of bodies, but other than that, yeah, I really like this. Where the hell am I? Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. That's, that's not a bug. She is um, definitely... Um, definitely noob cybot from Mortal Kombat, that's for sure. This is absolutely what was intended to happen. Did you finish your game, guys? He's here. Did you finish it? Help! Who's in here? Uh. 
the shield. I must move it. Hey, nice to see you again. Looking good. Uh, oh, see you later. I'm wounded. Got two John Please Cena's right here. Help me. I have to treat her wounds. Bandages, yay. Oops. The bandage is all that I have. She did. Holy shit. Um, um, turn around. Oh, staff, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Is this how he turns into the thing? And then, suddenly, everything was quiet. It was as though Satinav had played a prank and stopped time. An almost endless moment in which Sadja and the Adept just stared at each other. He didn't understand that his rescuing hand was more terrible to her than a thousand demon tentacles could have ever been. The final admission of her ghastly failure Suddenly, Satinab snapped his fingers again, and life continued. Hmm. What was that about? As he pulled her away, I heard her scream. Leave me, she called. Leave me. Take me back. And again and again. I can't leave him behind. Over and over. Quieter and quieter. And ever farther away. It didn't take long. And they had disappeared. And that was that. I was right back where I started. Only one thing was different this time. This time, I was able to remember. Remember a princess who persevered in the face of the most impossible obstacles. It helped that the Gorian Desert is one of the most magical places known to this world. Several astral lines crossed there, and I lay directly among them. I grew ever more powerful, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. After 400 years, I succeeded in refining my spell to the point where I finally found a way to permanently transform my body. I left the desert and set out for Draconia. I had to know what had happened to my princess after our separation. What happened? to the only woman who was ever prepared to entrust her life to a shady, magical staff. I just remembered we we're gonna have to go back to Garen and he's gonna have to catch a bird. And that'll be his, be his big climax is catching a bird. Oh. Sadia failed in the Gorian Desert. And I won't be able to see any of the uh, characters. Let's do that. I can't reach it. How mask, could I? And she knew the Why? name of the Jinn of Time. Why? I wouldn't be surprised if he just screams at me as well. If the wearer of the mask speaks the name of the Jinn of Time, he can retrieve things past. <gasps> Garon? Garon, can you hear me? I think I've solved the riddle. It's a little complicated. There are so many little pieces. There's only one thing missing. And then we can finally complete the story. Then I'll ask the staff to change you back. I promise. Can you do me one more favor first? Sadia's ruby has a crack. You need to repair it. Can you do that for me? Please, Geron, repair the ruby. Okay. Thank you. And now let me try something. I pray to the gods that I'm not mistaken. Vedan Faskadan, Esplas de Quatan, Humuril or Gras, 
Ferogoran, Hil Bemutir Gerol Falan, Yuntir Quatan, Feluntir Sodan. Now, Bride, I believe you're going to have to uh, kiss me to break the spell. Geron? Are you still there? If so, then you should be able to cast the staff's first spell. Please give me a sign that it worked. Awesome. I was right. Thank you. Thank you, Geron. Oh, <laughs> you're probably wondering where you are. The staff created this place, a burial chamber of a mogul in the middle of the Andagastrian forest. Isn't that impressive? Leave the mask and come to me. He's here. I'll be right back. Brider. Brider! Don't trust this guy, Brider. When I get left behind again. Nuri. Nuri. I now know that they can see me and hear me, but it won't do them any good. Sadia spelled. Sadia spelled. Hmm. Okay. So what am I working on? I'm cold. I wish someone would push me closer to the fire. <laughs> I'm not thirsty. Okay. No, I'll leave. Bye. I wouldn't be. So Sadia, Sadia, it's impossible. It's imp. Sadia, Sadia, Sa Okay, I guess it doesn't work here. I'll believe you after a thousand tries. First, I lose near the staff. Might as well. help me. Hollering is. If only I could draw attention. Um, that's a good idea. Not after what happened to Ulrich. That's too sturdy. The fire? Sadia. No, I'll leave it like. Yeah, I have to break or activate something. Here As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. I still. All I can hear. Sadia. Sa As the I. Hmm. They're too far, but they do give me a good idea of where I am. Well, I'm glad you know where you are, bud. Very thankful for that. I can't just activate myself. Sadia spell. Not a Just break myself. Break my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Anything else here on the ground? I can't. How could... Fire, brook, monolith, chamber, inscription. Hmm. Won't work. Yeah, I can't use my items. Sadia. 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 Not a. Something tells me that it won't help Brider. Quite the contrary. So what? Sadia. Why? I'm a little pissed that Brider just left me here. They seem to be having a big laugh at me being turned into stone, but this looks like a nightmare. I would not like that myself. Sadia. That won't break. It only. No. I... Sad. No. I... So this. I now know that they can, but it. Sad. Shit. Hollering is if only I could Sad Can I use this in any of my stuff? The knife is the necklace isn't magic. I mean it's not magic enough, it's filled with magic, yo. 
I'll try to send Nuri a vision. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, me. Um. She's a bird, so what do birds care about? I don't think they care about fire. Uh, river Mountain. That'll give her a location of where I am. I can send Nuri to the mountain and then have her follow the course of the brook from there. But Fire. how would she know where to land? That's it! I'll send Nuri to the mountain and then along the course of the brook until she reaches the fire. I hope it works. Hey, girl. Thank the gods. I'm starting to remember something. I know how I can transform myself back. All right, here we go. No. No, I'm too weak. The mask doesn't have enough power left to Shit. change me back. It was all for nothing. Please don't fly away, Nuri. Uh, the power accumulator. I need that. That's what it is. This. Me. Um. Uh, maybe him. Probably not. She doesn't care. I shouldn't think she cares. Hmm. Mary. Power accumu accumulator. He was a good bird. You are, Nuri. Good job. Perfect. Excellent. Ah, oh, finally. Fi, is everything all right? Oh, yes. My stiff old bones haven't felt this young in ages. <laughs> Thanks, Nuri. Who are you? That doesn't matter now. Will you promise to wait for me here? All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> Very agreeable, bird. Let me rest a moment. Whatever. I will. I need to rest a bit anyway. Flying is fun, but so exhausting. Uh, that was weird. Oh, uh, okay. Weird. All I can hear is the... It's been 450 years since I, a talking staff with no memories, kindled the light in my prison and saw a strange woman who would change my life forever. Her story began in this chamber. And between these walls, we will end it together. Merhaba, Geron. Welcome. You were able to free yourself. What does all this mean? Where are we? Ask him. Indeed. Ask me. You should know that I've waited a long time for this day, and would not like to wait much longer. But if you have a great many questions... What's going to happen here? So you still haven't figured out why I sent you my memories. Why you're here. 
I am here because Fahi promised to change Nuri back into a fairy if I helped him with a little riddle. No one said anything about ensouled magic staves, flying fortresses, and strange dreams. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Ha! Do you, you feel laugh, misled, Garen? It's a shame when that happens, isn't it? That someone would rescue me from my dungeon. That I was to Not climb so mountains without legs and wrestle without arms with demons. I would have laughed if someone had told me a princess will appear to you and, despite your strange form, show you the greatest wonders of the world. Oh, how I would have laughed. Okay, but that doesn't explain why we're here. You know that Sadia and I were separated. Ah golden time together came to an end when I finally found a way to leave the Gorian desert centuries had passed I wanted to know if Sadia had done it if she had become the great heroine she always wanted to be I wanted to hear how her name was whispered in the streets in awe Sadia al Kabir Sadia the Great the heroine who once but no one had ever heard of her I followed her trail back to Draconia I found the Adept's journal and the Jinn of Times is mask. But Sanja's real fate remained a mystery to me. Finally, I met Fahi and asked him to bring me here. A man named Alric had taken her ruby from Draconia and brought it to Undergast. He sought the mask in order to bring back his deceased wife, but he found only the gemstone. Is all this really important? I kind of want him to keep it short, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um... Yeah, go on. Why did you need the ruby? Why the mask? Why all of this? I wanted to bring together all the relics surrounding Sadia's disappearance and finally understand what happened to her. At least I would know what happened to her. She deserved that. There was only one problem. I'm terrible at riddles. That's why I needed mm. experts to help me. Who could understand every detail, who could be prepared for today. Prepared? To do what? To be able to tell Sadja's tale to the end without making a mistake. Does it matter how she died? She's dead. We can't change that. You're wrong. You will determine what happened to her. I don't understand. The Garden of Oblivion, Geron. I read the journal to the end. After her return, Sadja went into the Garden of Oblivion and never came out again. Nothing that happens in the Garden has actually happened until someone talks about it. Outside the garden. And since Sadia has been forgotten since that day, her fate has never been told. And thus never completed. I see. If we tell the end of Sadia's adventures in the garden, then the story becomes true. And if we're mistaken... Satanav's invisible hand will punish us for our sacrilege. I think I've explained enough about our wondrous meeting. Are you ready, Garon? Just a moment. Why are you here, Bryder? Sadia's story doesn't have anything to do with you. Geron, there's nothing left for me here. I'm a deserter. My own comrades are hunting me. This is my only refuge. But you did that. Why did you do that? Please. Even if you still don't understand, let me bring it to an end. I'm sure everything will be fine again. The world will never be as fine as it once was. Garen must have one of those like super personalities that people just follow him, even though he's just full of shit. It's like Trump. He's full of shit. At the waterfall, you promised sorry, to change Mary back to her that own form. I mean to and I will, Trump. but That's first, unfair. we must complete you know, Sadia's story. What if one of us ends Sadia's story and is wrong? If Satinav learns that the tale we tell can't possibly be true, then he'll make it unhappen and declare the teller guilty of sacrilege. Don't worry, Geron. We won't make a mistake. I've thought everything through very carefully. Oh, perfect. What about the inscription on the burial chamber? You mean the stone and the scarab? Fahi believes that the inscription is the key to everything. But as apt as his intuition may be, in this case, he's mistaken. The riddle is apparently only a strange jotting on the margins, a random blemish on an otherwise monumental painting. There's nothing else to say about it. Both Sadia proud. was taken to the burial chamber to read trivial inscriptions, and as proud as she was, she refused. That's all. What's Fahi's role in all this? Fahi is a man of many talents. He has a feeling for tales, 
and he's good at solving riddles. In addition, he had a wagon and a tent in which I could hide on my long journey. He is helping me solve the riddle, and in return, I protect his business from looters. That is our agreement. So he's actually harmless. <laughs> Fahi is the most harmless man I've ever met in my 3,000 years. I was sorry to petrify him, but it was the only way to save him from your fellow citizens. All right. Then put the mask on the bust of my old master and let us begin. That's put the mask enough. on the bust. Jeez. Yeah, I'm so, not liking this deal, Let's man. get this over with already. Put the mask on the bust, and then we'll be done. So I guess when I'm down there, I'm going to say um, Neri was never transformed into a raven. I guess that's what we're going to go with. Put the mask on the... Thank you, Geron. Are you ready now? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get this over with. Thank you, Geron. Which of you will now step forward and tell the story to its end? Oh, this is interesting. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it. Very well. I'll now tell you of Sage's passage into the garden. As it is written in the Adept's journal, listen closely. At the end, you must tell me how the story ends. After her return from the battlefield, Sadia was only a shadow of herself. She Literally, had seen the horrors of the Nether Hells, an ocean of destruction and death. She was the only survivor, but the rest of the world did not care. Sadia's great dream had failed. She wandered the halls of Draconia like a ghost. She didn't eat. And she only slept when exhaustion forced her to. On the fourth day, a young adept saw her at the threshold to the portal. He asked her where she was going. It was cold in the mountains, and she could have become lost. Whereupon she answered, I'm going to the garden to break my being. The boy immediately ran to the air adept. But help arrived too late. When they entered the garden, all that they found was the mask and Sajj's ruby next to it. There was no sign of her. Out of fear of challenging Satinath, it was decided that they would forget the incident. Fair enough. No one was allowed to speculate about what had happened on that day. The mask and the ruby were taken to Draconia. The garden was sealed, and Sadia's fate was forgotten. Until today. It's now up to you, Geron, to finish her story. But remember, one mistake. And the consequences will be terrible. I know. Sadia entered the garden. Maybe this was on purpose. Hmm. She thought briefly and looked around. This is interesting as hell. She sat on the ground. Then she hesitated for a moment and wondered if she was really doing the right thing. She took out the mask. She looked into the mask and... <laughs> and... She read the magic spell, memorized it, put on the mask and destroyed her memory. Why did you interrupt me? I was afraid you would say the wrong thing. Then she disappeared into the depths of the garden like a soulless waif and was never seen again. What? It is done. I had always hoped it would be otherwise. But I was mistaken. Are you crying? Of course I'm crying. My princess just died. Oh, well, I guess that's it then. That was the end just now, wasn't it? Yes. No. Since Sadia used the mask, her memories are now in the mask. And thus, the true name of the Jinn of Time. What are you doing? Fadan Feskadan Esplastequatan Humri Lorgras Ferel Koran, Hil Bemotir Kerul Felan, Tuntir Katan Filontir Sodan, Nijet Himeta for Immano Ilti Veda. 
Ah, I've been awakened. The Jinn of Time. Tell me, child, what is your wish? I'm sorry, Geron, but there's nothing left for me in this time. As if there had ever been anything for me here. There are no heroic princesses, no ancient tombs, no flying fortresses. Only endless honor guards, latrine duty, one triviality after another. When was the golden age lost? When princesses still dreamed of battles and the world was filled with magic. I wish it was all as it used to be. Your wish is my command. What? Brider. The girl is now gone. Her longing now rules over her existence. It is my task to fulfill that longing. Brida, you di you idiot. What have you done? To extinguish the gray present and bring the past to life again. Forest is starting to change. What did she do? Geron, come quickly. Geron, I've been thinking. That's nice, but it won't help us any. Bryder told Sadia's story to the end. She had Sadia put on the mask and draw out all her memories in the Garden of Oblivion, so that everything has now happened exactly like that. And she read out Sadia's memories with the ruby. I mean, Bryder did that. And now she's possessed by the Djinn of Time, and- Calm yourself, Geron. I'm supposed to calm down? We have to do something! The scarab in the stone You're right. isn't nothing. And we can only do something if we prove that Bryder was wrong. That Sadia did not put on the mask. You forget that there's still a part of the riddle we have not solved. The scarab? As if a pointless riddle could save us all. Do you have a better idea? Look around. We're in a copy of the burial chamber. Perhaps you'll find the crucial clue somewhere. Bring it to me. And perhaps we can solve the riddle once and for all. As the stone over the I still Um I don't have my other spells, I don't think, anymore. No, just that one. Whatever happens, please stay here. I will. The spell won't do any. I'm not thir Not thirsty, are you? First, I have to. The Jinn of Time must have torn it off the mask. Why? Yeah, why? That doesn't... Not yet. The Jinn of Time... All I found was the ruby. Give it to me. Giacomo Nauta told me you were an amateur mage. Is that true? Yeah, I can break things. <laughs> well, I can also do a bit of magic. If I hold something in my hand, I can catch a glimpse of its past. That was the main reason the staff chose me as his companion, you see. Now, let's see what story this stone tells. I think you fell asleep. Hmm... Curious. When the ruby was found after Sadia's disappearance in the garden, it had a crack. And the reversal spell the Ore Adept had woven into it had vanished utterly. 
the mages had to reapply it completely. But there's more. I see a palace garden, and in it, two children. This is a brooch from Main Villa. My father gave it to me. Oh, can I see? There. And here, a ruby from the dwarf tunnels in the brazen sword. It's so beautiful. When I'm Caliph, I'll have all the treasures in Avastan gathered in my palace. Fazar will be more radiant than in the times of the great moguls. My subjects will lie at my feet for all eternity. <laughs> You'll be a good ruler, Kasim. All the history books will tell of you. Ha! Do you see the sign on my arm? It's the calligraphy of my sovereignty, the sign of my dynasty. The whole world will bow before this symbol. There are great times ahead of us, Sadja. Truly great times. I see a prince and a princess playing together. He's trying to impress her. What could this mean? Sadia and the prince were once friends. Wait. There's more. Something's happening. A palace guard arrives. Let me go! <laughs> You're so pathetic. Isn't that how you like to be treated? Like the dog that you are. At least I have my own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you please me, Sadja, more than I had hoped. The prince is tormenting the princess. The guard holds her tight. She's at his mercy. But why? Hmm. She must have done something. Maybe she committed a crime. Hmm. They finally let her go. She remains alone in the courtyard. Really? What are you doing? Are you tattooing yourself? I'm writing my own dynasty. Do you even know what the word means? Dynasty? You can't simply write greatness into your blood. You're either born with it or not. I'll prove it to you. Do you think you could ever be greater than I? You're amusing. Gods! Throw her back into the gutter where you found her. I'm done having my fun with her. Then fetch me a new girl. The kids, a bit like Sadia Joffrey. It isn't like wasn't games, that's true. a princess at all. She was only a poor well, up until girl that point. <laughs> from the streets. So what? I, I don't know. He's, his voice but... is really cute, so it's kind of undermining his, um, <laughs> you know, dastardliness. <laughs> You're right there. What's so funny? Don't you understand the solution to the riddle? Sadia's words outside the burial chamber. It was so obvious all along. I don't get it. I guess it's about I still Rodalian don't understand. I don't know. Why was Sadia taken into the burial chamber by the group of heroes? Because she was a princess. But she wasn't. Right. Yes, she merely claimed to be a princess. And as such, she was supposed to be able to decipher the ancient inscription. But if she wasn't, how could she read it anyway? You'll have to come up with the rest yourself. Oh. We were fooling ourselves. Now, go into the burial chamber and tell it to the djinn. Then everything will be all right again. I don't know what I'm telling to the djinn, but okay. Whatever happens. I will. Go to the then ever All right, let's find out. Ryder, or whoever you are, come out. Nuri. Why do you obstruct her wish? She's unhappy. She wishes to be back in a time where everything was still good. I feel that you right of now. All I feel that. should understand that. But it no longer matters what you think. 
the, the ritual is almost complete. A new ancient kingdom will grow from the oak wood. Not if I can prove that you, that Bryda was wrong. And she was indeed wrong. Satya went into the garden, she took the mask, and she spoke the incantation. So did it happen, and so shall it remain. It will. Listen, let me start at the beginning. Satya entered the garden, she sat down and pulled out the mask. and despaired in herself. Why should she despair? She had my promise of blessed oblivion. All she had to do was read the incantation. No. She wasn't a princess. So she was a peasant. So she couldn't read. Right? She, she couldn't read at all. Hmm. I'm sorry, Bryder, but Sadia wasn't as brilliant as you think. She felt persecuted and restless. She wanted to forget her own past and become someone else. She wasn't a princess, just a poor girl from the streets. And as such, she couldn't even read. No. <laughs> Forgive me, Bryder. I guess that was it. Yeah. <laughs> That's that then. The riddle is finally solved. <laughs> Why such a long face, Charon? Yes, my friend? What plagues you so? Nothing. She's a, she's Why are you so happy anyway? Zadia's fate proved to be false. You don't know any more now than you did before. Very true. Very true. But perhaps not. Oh, forget it. I'm sick of riddles. Yes. Leave the dear boy in peace, Halef. Fulfill his wish, and let's move on. Yes. Traveling is nice. I want to go to the sea. Wait just a moment. It's up to you, my friend. Do you want me to change her back? But I can only restore her body, not her memories. Hmm. Um... I mean, she's happy as she is, but it's not who she really is. Um, it's weird. I'm trying to answer a moral question here. I'm not sure it can be answered. <laughs> you know? Because, you know, she's happy as a raven, but she's also losing her memory. So that's, you know, affecting that. She might be happy to be a fairy again. But... I mean, if I do this, it's definitely for selfish reasons. I want to get out, get all up in that Nuri action. That's what Garen's all about. That is what he's all about. That's his focus. Um, I'll change it back. I fought so hard for it. You would think make this I about yourself. You're such a dink. It was. So be it. What a dink. It is done. Nuri. Nuri, can you hear me? Hmm? What's going on? Who are you? My name is Geron. How do you feel? Strange. I'm cold. What happened? Come to the fire and rest. Then I'll tell you everything. Who you are, where you come from, and what wonderful adventures the two of us have had. Adventures? It all began last autumn. Crows had attacked the royal palace, and King Everdon asked me to come up with a way to stop the plague. My search led me to a strange cave near a waterfall. 
And thus ends the tale. Did you know that it would come to this? <sighs> oh, how can I know what you planned? And what was mere fortune? Until today, I would have sworn that the mask destroyed you. But that can't be. We know that now. Now, just so I don't make a mistake, there are only two possibilities as to what could have happened to you back then. The first, the more likely, has now proven to be false, which leaves only the second. <sighs> I mustn't make a mistake. Here we go. When Sajia entered the garden, she had the mask with her, but no ruby. Yet, when the mask was found, there was a ruby beside it. Now, hmm. it may be that it was Sajia's ruby that was thrown into the garden earlier by the prince. But what if it was another? Oh dear. Oh dear. There's no going back now. Satinav! I say that there was not one, but two rubies. The real one was lost. A the second fate ruby? was taken from the garden by the mages and is now here in my hand. Sajja couldn't read, but with my mask she could do magic. She could turn plants to stone. She could turn people to stone. What is a ruby, if not just another stone? There. And now to you, my dear. You descended into the deepest tombs. And you climbed the highest mountains. You danced with wind spirits and wrestled with demons. Abandoned by the gods, forgotten by time. Sharizad, your time has finally come. Um, all right. We have an ending. We had many, many challenges along the way. That was Sailor Moon. That was uh, by Moonlight even. So that was definitely Sailor Moon. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an okay ending. I really, really wish there hadn't been so many shitty, shitty bugs on the way to uh, to the way to the end of the game. Because I like the lore. I like the mystery that was coming out of it. Um, I like most of the characters, except for the kids. Most of the voice acting was pretty good. Um, this is it as far as uh, these games go. Yeah, I mean, uh, she came out more or less ahead of the game. Um, she's alive. She can't read still, which <laughs> sucks, but, um, you know, her boyfriend is ugly as hell and is a, kind of a staff creature thing, so, you know, it's not always, it's not all good, but, um, I guess Garen and Nuri are going to be happy together as well, so, um, yeah. But that ends the Dark Eye Chains of Satin now for me. Um, I didn't think I'd finish the game today. Turns out I did, which is great. Uh, I'll have to start a new game tomorrow, and I'm not totally convinced what it's going to be. I have Blackwell woven. Woven, woven. Let's find out. Do, do, do. Gog. Um, games. So, yep. Blackwell, 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 Blackwell. I do have them. Um, and I may try them. Um, is it your recommendation that I try them? Because I would definitely take your recommendation. Um, I was thinking maybe, maybe, um, where the hell is it? Kathy Rain. Um, let's view the store page. Excellent games. Okay. Um, I have Kathy Rain as well, which looks like a little bit of fun. Got a cool badass heroine here. Um, it's more basic artwork, more basic pixel artwork, but uh, let's take out. I believe Legacy is the first one, I think. Um, let's check this out. Resonance, uh, let's go to the bundle. That doesn't help me. Um, but we'll figure out which one is first. Um, but that game will start tomorrow. 
uh, probably around the same time as I started today, which was 7 a.m., so that'll be, I'm not doing the math, it was 7, <laughs> 7 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, so I started about, I guess, three and a half hours ago, um, and uh, we'll start there. I may stream later on today. I do have, uh, okay, it's Legacy Unbound Convergence to Session Epiphany. I don't think I have Epiphany. Hold on. Here's the thing. Once I start committing to these games, that's five games. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I don't have Epiphany. Is that on here? Let's find out. Um, there we go. Blackwell Epiphany. Okay, great. So I'll buy that one this time. Um, all right. I think we're going to go with this. I think we're going to go with Blackwell. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah, we can always break the uh, the series. We don't have to do them all in a row if we don't have to. Might do two, take a break, play something else, and do two more. But who knows? That's weeks and weeks away. But for now, Woven, everybody else, uh, you in the chambers, I saw you as well. Um, thanks for joining me on this wonderful, wonderful journey of bugs, glitches, um, game breaking, errors, uh, my own computers, my own screw ups, muted audio, muted desktop audio, all the best stuff. All can be found on demand. All of it's on YouTube. Um, but again, I may hop on later today for some Dragon Age, but that'll be uh, probably in the evening at some point. Uh, I do have some stuff going on this afternoon. Until then, we'll talk to you down the road.